Kelly Williams here, exercise physiologist and holistic wellness coach with the International Association of Wellness Professionals. And I help men who are tired of not feeling their best and are ready to change. And I help them with a custom plan to start experiencing their optimal health. So today I want to share with you nine ways to get motivated and stay motivated to exercise for the rest of your life. So if you have trouble with being motivated to exercise, definitely stay tuned. Now, before I get started, let's talk a little bit about motivation. Motivation in and of itself just does not work. Um, you, have to, you have to have a reason and you have to put things into action. So you can, be, you can say to yourself all day long that you want to do something, but until you find a big enough reason to do it, and you put a plan together that will help you get there, you're, you're just not going to make it. That's why so many people set New Year's resolutions to, get, to start exercising, and within three months, most of them have already quit. So, you have to have kind of an external reason, and you know, it's easy when you're a child to be motivated, especially if your parents are the ones motivating you, for example, they might say, if you don't start doing your chores, you're going to get grounded. Well, that's good motivation. When it comes time for us to be responsible for our own motivation, then we do need to find, um, and this step number one is identify your why. It has to be something big. Maybe, in my case, men have heart attacks in their late 50s and early 60s, in my family and I want to part of my reason is I want to avoid having a heart attack and that's a big reason for me so I uh, I am motivated to eat better and stay more active just to prevent heart attack yours is going to be maybe something totally different but find a big reason why um, that's number one I think step number two in, in my case is to start doing an affirmation. I was not ever a big fan of affirmations, especially the ones that I saw that just felt really fake. Uh, I mean, for someone to, uh, I, I enjoy golf, and if I were to get up every morning and just say to myself, I am a great golfer, that that is not going to make me a great golfer. But, uh, so, uh, I follow a... Um, Kind of the teaching that Hal Elrod teaches. He's the author of the Miracle Morning books. And I like his method of creating an affirmation. You identify your why and then you put into plan action, an action plan to get there. So for example, in my case with heart attacks, I might say something like, I am committed to getting fit because I want to reduce my risk of having a heart attack. And in order to get fit, I'm going to exercise five days a week for at least 30 minutes, and I'm going to do it at 6.30 in the morning. So that's, that's, an ex that's an example of his style. So you identify your reason, and then you commit to it, and you have specific action steps that you're going to do to get there. So that's a good one. So if I got up each morning and said that, um, and there is science that backs up these types of affirmations. So that's number two. Number three is to set a goal that includes the minimum time, the, the days of the week, and uh, even the uh, type of exercise that you're going to do. Maybe even the time of day. So um, the number of minutes, the number of days, the type of exercise, and the the actual time that you're going to do it. So set a goal, write it down. Uh, the next one is develop a routine that helps you get in uh, to make it easier for you to do it. Um, there's a, a guy named James Clear that wrote the book Atomic Habits, and he has some great um, ideas about setting habits. And you know, one of them is make things easier to accomplish. So for example, if I, I, I prefer to exercise in the morning, and the reason is, is because if I get it done first thing in the morning, then 
nothing else the rest of the day can interfere with my exercise session. So in the beginning, if I were having trouble starting to exercise, first of all, uh, it would make sense to put out my clothes the night before. Um, and then in my morning routine, maybe the first thing I do after I get up and maybe go to the bathroom is drink a glass of water, put on my exercise clothes and put on my exercise shoes. That automatically sets me up to go and get my workout in. So have a routine that helps you make this easier. The next thing is, is determine the type of exercise that you're going to start with. The good thing is your exercise plan can change over time. It doesn't have to be the same, but maybe in the beginning, identify something that you know you can do. Uh, maybe it's simply as, it's as simple as just starting to walk and maybe you're going to get up, uh, put on, you know, have your drink of water, get your shoes on, get your workout clothes on and you go for a 15 minute walk. That might be the way that it starts. Um, you know, there, there may be things out there or people that say a certain type of exercise is better, but if that's not appropriate for you, it's not going to be something you're going to stick with. So definitely start with something easy. Start with something that's appropriate for you. Um, start with an amount of time that is appropriate. And you can always build on that and you can always add other variety of exercises and things to your program over time. Um, the next one is record your results. Now, years ago, I met a guy who had a great way of recording exercise, and um, I adopted something similar to that. And basically, it's just a sheet where it's got some great instructions on writing down the number of days you want to exercise, the amount of time, and the type of exercise. And you can even put on there, like I said a minute ago, the actual time of day. It's got all the months, all the days, and for every day that you meet your goal, you check it off. And on the days that you don't, you just put an X in. And think about this, for example. Let's say in the beginning, you wanted to start with three days a week for 15 minutes, and that's your start. Um, the, the recommendations are to build up to where you're doing five days a week for at least 30 minutes. And so, but you start with three days a week for 15 minutes, three times four, so four weeks would be 12 workouts in a month. You'd have 18 days off. That gives you plenty of opportunity. So on your sheet, you would have, at the end of the month, you'd have 12 checks and 18 X's. Well, even mentally, having all those X's kind of sends a signal that, you know, you can start doing more. But I highly recommend that you record it, and I highly recommend that instead of using a digital method, use a written record method, and that will help you. The next one is do get variety. I mentioned something about that just a little while ago, but over time, get variety in your plan, and it will be more enjoyable. The next one is sign up for a fitness challenge, or sign up for... Uh, maybe a 5K or, you know, something that you have uh, something to train for or get ready for. Or, you know, tell yourself that you want to build up where you can do 50 push-ups. And, and just start creating your workout plan around this challenge that you're setting for yourself. One thing that I do as part of my plan because I enjoy playing golf is a lot of my exercises are related to flexibility and fitness that are specific to golf. Maybe your children are in sports or something, and part of your exercise plan is to get to where you're fit enough to participate with them to some degree in their practices or to help them. And, um, you know, I've got a variety of things hooked up to my chin-up bar back here that help me with golf, for example. Um, like this is a... This is a suspension trainer, and it's got a kettlebell on it, and I can do rotational training and things like that. So, But the, the point is, have something that helps you get ready for something. Now, the last thing is, get an accountability partner. It's, it's a big part of being motivated. Tell your, it could be your spouse, it could be a friend, it could be a relative, Tell them what your plan is and give them permission to help hold you accountable. 
They might even want you to hold them accountable to something. So give them permission to check in with you on a regular basis, see how things are going, and to keep you accountable to your goal. So that's it. Those are the nine easy steps. I know it sounds like a lot, but when you do them, it once you get this initial thing taken care of and you get your record sheet and you write some things down, you'll be, uh, it becomes very routine. And so if you want a copy of that record sheet that I showed, just message me at Entirely Fit on Facebook and I'll be glad to send you one. Now, I hope this video helps. I hope it helps you get motivated and stay motivated forever. Until next time, be well, be grateful, and keep trying to be entirely fit. Have a great day. Bye-bye.